What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, man. I am going to address some comments that I saw and comments that I, videos I saw made by other people about this Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder thing and question how all this money can be coming about for Deontay Wilder and believing that if the Deontay Wilder fight against Anthony Joshua was made, that Anthony Joshua was the A side of that. Consequently, if they're going to give Deontay Wilder $40 million for the fight, they're going to have to give Anthony Joshua $60 million for the fight. And because Anthony Joshua is the A side, and you guys are still going on this Anthony Joshua is the A side scenario, which I've always said is just not true. And I'm going to tell you why. And also, before I do that, I'm going to tell you why maybe you should. I know you won't, AJ fans, but maybe why you should listen to me on this. But before I do, I want to welcome you back to the channel, subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, when we do our live streams in the morning, starts between 10.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And also, check out the Patreon. we got a lot of really good stuff. Patreon community is growing and it's growing fast. It's a wonderful thing to see, and I think that you'll really enjoy the content we put on there. Now, let me go first about why you should believe me when I tell you that Anthony Joshua is not the A-side in a negotiation with Deontay Wilder for a fight specifically that would be held on to zone. Number one, I got credibility in this because I told you guys that Deontay Wilder was going to get massive offers because of the scenario that you could see laid out before you. But many of you, just because you don't want to agree with me or you just don't want to believe that Deontay Wilder is worth anything and you got some set a mat, you got some set dollar value in your mind about how important you think he is, you think that that applies to the rest of the world. And it doesn't. And I told you, I told you as soon as I saw Tyson Fury sign with ESPN, a whole bunch of people jumped out about how he this was going to screw over Deontay Wilder. You can go check my video. I said it in the video. This is going to be good for Deontay Wilder. It's not going to hurt Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is going to wind up making more money because Tyson Fury ducked out and ran to ESPN. Because once they once ESPN signed Deontay Wilder, signed Tyson Fury, that set a bottom dollar minimum that that Deontay Wilder was going to get offered. It set a minimum because people, first of all, Deontay Wilder and Showtime and people in the United States are not fooled by propaganda coming up out of the UK that or out of Tyson Fury's mouth or out of Frank Warren's mouth or out of whoever's mouth that the reason that American boxing fans, 325,000 American boxing fans paid $75 a pop to watch Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury was Tyson Fury. Nobody believes that. People have, there's millions of people, um, over a million people that pay subscriptions to Showtime that watch Deontay Wilder every time he fights. If Deontay Wilder fights on, fights on Fox, you're probably going to have 3 million people that are going to watch Deontay Wilder on Fox because he's American. He's the American heavyweight. That's a That's what it is. And you can say whatever you want as loud as you want and as often as you want. But that's the case. And nobody that is nobody in a negotiation that's going to sit down and say, look, man, this is how much money we want. Right. Because isn't that what isn't that what Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua say? You don't get paid what you deserve. You get paid with what you negotiate. As soon as Tyson Fury got that money, that was the bottom of what Deontay Wilder was going to get. It was the bottom. And Deontay Wilder would have had to negotiate for the bottom just to wind up where Tyson Fury was. But since he's dealing with Al Heyman and Shelly Finkel and there's a three-way bidding war for the guy, the number was going to go up. Because ESPN offered him this, I want no less than what he got. Matter of fact, I want 20% over what he got. At the bare least, somebody might have tried to get in there and find out if he was stupid and offered him something lower to start with, but he wasn't going to take it. So, where are we now? Now we are with a three fight deal worth a hundred million dollars right now that's why you should listen to me because I told you so 
Many of you guys are saying he would never get offered anything over $5 million a fight. He's not worth over $5 million a fight. Now we're talking about, and I'm going to talk about this within the context of the zone. We're not talking about pay-per-view. We're not talking about a scenario where these guys are trying to earn the money back. This is investment capital. Just like I told you guys about the PBC and the $500 million that they were get that they got invested in the PBC and a whole bunch of people are running around talking about how they're not earning that money back right now. They weren't intended to earn that money back. That was an investment for them to build their network, for them to for them to gain enough market status to sign enough fighters where they could get the fight to to get the PBC to the vision that they thought was possible and they put seed money into it. This money for Canelo for Anthony Joshua, for Deontay Wilder, is seed money for the zone. They have a budget that they're willing to invest in. So what price do they have to pay? They have to pay above the market rate and the market rate would be established by pay-per-view. So if they want these guys who would be on pay-per-view to fight for them, they have to buy the fight. So, they are no these fighters are no longer negotiating with each other. There is no I did this this is how many people I had in the UK. This is how many pay-per-views I got because they're not selling pay-per-views. What difference does it make how many pay-per-view buys Anthony Joshua got in the UK? First of all, the zone's not in the UK, it's in the United States. Second of all, they're not going to be selling it on pay-per-view in the United States. They just want subscribers. Deontay Wilder is not selling it on paper. They're not selling them on pay-per-view. They want the subscribers. Deontay Wilder got that money because Deontay Wilder already has shown that he has at least 325,000 people in the market that they're that they are looking after to pay $75 for it. If they can get 325,000 people to pay $75 for one fight, why would they believe that they would get anything less than 325,000 people willing to pay to get a free trial and pay $10 a month? Especially if they know that they're going to get three fights out of them. Of course they would be willing to do that. Deontay Wilder, his appeal to the zone is the fan base that he has, already has, in the United States. Showtime has a, he has a million people watch him on Showtime every time he fights. And Showtime costs more than the zone does. They might say, hey, if I can get 500,000 new subscribers to the zone, we're willing to invest the seed money in Deontay Wilder. And obviously they are. That's why they offered the money. They offered the seed money. The seed money. The investment money. But why is there no A-side? Because it's not a pay-per-view event. And because the value of each fighter is determined by the, by the sole organization that's paying them. If it's DAZN, it's DAZN. If that is, if it's a DAZN fight, because a DAZN fight, if they're paying him $40, $40 million, paying Anthony Joshua, whatever they're paying him, it's not going to be a pay-per-view event. It is going to be a, please join my channel, subscribe to my channel, and you can have this fight. The value will be in the mind of the people in the zone that decide how much money that they want to invest. There is no A side to that because the, they know if the zone wants that fight, then the zone knows they need both of them. So can Anthony Joshua get more money than Deontay Wilder? If he signs second, if Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder takes three fight deal, he knows he gets for three fights in a row, he gets 20 million, 40 million, and 40 million. And they say, hey, you know, these two fights are going to be with Anthony Joshua. And Deontay Wilder says, okay, I'll take $40 million if you if you can get the Anthony Joshua fight. And but I want $40 million if you can't get the Anthony Joshua fight. 
doesn't matter to me. Then De- Anthony Joshua says, hold on, man, you paying Anthony, you paying Deontay Wilder $40 million. I want 60. And then DeZon says, no, I don't want to give you 60. I'll give you 45. I'm not giving you anything over 45 because at that point, we don't want to invest that anymore. That is a negotiation that takes place between Anthony Joshua and DeZone. That is not some conversation between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Hence, there's no A side. The A side on it is going to be DeZone because DeZone's the one paying the money. Similar to the $50 million that Ant, that, that, that the PBC wanted to give Deontay wanted to give Anthony Joshua. Once they paid for the fight, there was no A side. Because I'm paying you. You're either going to take it or you're not going to take it. That's just what it is. So, in summary, if if Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fought on the zone, there is no A side to that. That is a that the payment is going to be a is going to be subject to the opinion of the zone. And the zone could very well say a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush because Deontay Wilder has an established fan base in the United States. We know what that is. We know what the viewership is on Showtime and they, it costs them $17 a month for Showtime. We know what his fan base is. We know what his pay-per-views are in the United States. Over here with Anthony Joshua, they could very well say, yeah, we really think that you can be a star in the U.S., but you're not a star. You don't have an established fan base here, but you're essential to make this fight. So this is what I'm willing to pay for you. Now, Anthony, if you don't want to take it, go find somebody else to pay you more. It could easily go like that. So anyway, it is what it is. And I don't know what they're going to pay Anthony Joshua or not going to pay Anthony Joshua. All I'm trying to tell you is stop acting like these some that he's some gigantic A side and whatever Deontay Wilder gets. It's just a foregone conclusion that Anthony Joshua is going to get twice as much or he's going to get $20 million more because he's worth $20 more million on the market. Ain't nobody paying Anthony Joshua $60 million for a fight. Nobody. And if they do, they're going to, they're not going to pay that for, for him. He's going to get right about what Deontay Wilder got. If he signs second, then he'll probably get a little more, but more than likely they're not even going to know what Anthony Joshua what Deontay Wilder's actually signed for. Because Shelly Finkel and Anthony and Al Heyman aren't stupid. They're not going to let that actually be public. Anyway, it is what it is. And with that, I'm out. Peace.